Bashir. Thank you very much. Sir, I support this bill. I feel that uh, this is in the best interest of the nation. With coming to the bill, sir, with regard to definitions, there are clarity in this. There is no ambiguity in this. In the, and in that way also, it is drafted nicely. Sir, uh, the Committee on External Affairs, which scrutinized this bill, has said, I quote, Committee therefore desired to, to uh, cover all means of transport on water and sea. Uh, the word vessel should be added along with the ship and aircraft. Moreover, along with the crew, the passengers and uh, the presence of any other person on ship, bar aircraft, and private ship is also possible. The committee, therefore, would like to that the word any person should also be incorporated suitably, and the ship and the aircraft should also be defined in two separate subclauses in the light of definition of the object and the relevant act to cover all kind of possibilities. I hope that the uh, government will seriously consider this observation of the committee on external affairs. Sir, uh, uh, this um, act stipulates volume of punishment and uh, India's need to have a separate legislation on this and necessity of dis uh, uh, establishing this, the, the designated course to address this issue. All these kind of things are most welcome. Sir, this widen, the, widen the scope of lawmaking. The bill has been drafted in accordance with the uh, United Nations Convention of Law and Sea adopted by India in 1982 and ratified in 1995. The committee now hope that the new proposed legislation will definitely enable the authorities to prosecute the apprehended pirates irrespective of the nation. The, the number of UN resolutions have been passed to facilitate the nation to enact legislation of the piracy by adopting definitions suggested. So that also may kindly be taken into consideration. Sir, the need of legislation, I need not say much about that. That is very, very vital because, sir, uh, these kind of crimes in this uh, sea are increasing day by day, uh, the, whether it is in the way of robbery, robbery or any kind of ill motive, these kind of things are uh, increasing. A dangerous situation has arisen in the country, not only in India, other countries also, sir. Our committee has su suggested after 2008-2008, the major part in piracy attack was witnessed in the Gulf of Aden by, by pirates of Somalia. Uh, our committee also observed that the threat of piracy has mushroomed in enormous really. That also is a very thing, important thing to be noted, sir. Towards, sir, and I would like to make four, two, three suggestions, sir. Uh, further probes should be done in order to uh, make the things in a proper way. What are the cost of piracy and how to do this com uh, compare to the expenses required for mitigation? Two, sir, what is the best way of countering arms maritime violence in region chronic lawlessness and anarchy. Three, sir, is a uh, current international legal framework for countering piracy is sufficient or not? If not, whether what the government is going to do in that? What is the extent of government responsibility for countering piracy and what role should be a private sector can do in this? These are all certain things which I would like to say, sir. Anyhow, sir, it's a very good uh, legislation and it is a very, very good intention. I support this wholeheartedly. Thank you very much, sir. K. Suresh Ji, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, N. K. Premchandi, 6 baje.